Hi, boys and girls. We're back this week with another type of connection in our reading. This week, we're going to be working on text-to-text -text connections. A text-to-text -text connection is a connection between the book and another book or text you have read. You are connecting the story that you're reading to another story or book you've read in the past, where one book reminds you of another book, or one character reminds you of a different character in a book. Here are some examples. A character acted the same as another character in a book. Was a character upset? Was a character helpful? Does it remind you of a different character from a book that was also helpful or kind? The character felt the same as another character in a different story. Was one of the characters sad or left out? Do you remember a different character that was also sad or left out? How about a character that was happy or felt like a champion for winning something? Do you remember another character doing that? The next one is that the setting in one book was the same or similar to the setting in another book. Was one setting in New York City and another setting in another book in New York City or another big town? Or was the setting in a book at the beach and you remembered reading another story about a family or friends at the beach? And finally, the same event happened in two different stories. Did one story include a pet that was lost and then you read another book last week about maybe a cat or a toy that was lost? This is making connection from one book to another. I'm going to give you an example based on two books that you've read in the last week. You've read Cinderella and Cinderella, both, both fairy tales based on a girl that was left out. In the first column, I've labeled Cinderella, and that's the pieces of that text that I found that I made a connection to in Cinderella. So the first piece that I found a connection to was when Cinderella's sisters didn't let her go to the prince's ball with them. And then I remember reading Cinderella that Cinderella's sisters didn't let her go to the basketball game with them. So I was able to connect Cinderella's sisters not letting her go somewhere with Cinderella's sisters not letting her go somewhere. So it doesn't have to be exact match, but it does have to have something in common. Let's do another example. In Cinderella, her godmother turned a pumpkin into a carriage so Cinderella could go to the ball. I remember something similar happening in Cinderella. Cinderella's godmother turned a trash can into a bike so Cinderella could go to the game. So they both had a godmother that turned something into a mode of transportation so they could get to where they were going. That's a connection that was made between two books or stories. So here is an example of a worksheet that's going to be sent to you. In the first column, I have Cinderella. In the second column, I have Cinderella. You'll have two different stories, but this one I'm going to use as an example. You are not going to do Cinderella and Cinderella. This is just a model. You are going to do different books that I will let you know in just a moment. So under Cinderella, I'm going to type in my first connection, the ones that we just spoke about. Cinderella's sisters didn't let her go to the prince's ball with them. And the connection I made to Cinderella was that Cinderella's sisters didn't let her go to the basketball game with them. You're going to type in your connections into the boxes. Cinderella's godmother turned a pumpkin into a carriage so Cinderella could go to the ball. That connection to Cinderella is Cinderella's godmother turned a trash can into a bike so Cinderella could go to a game. So I was able to connect one story to another story. So here's your assignment for the week. You are first going to watch the read aloud Chester's Way and review the Wemberly Worried video as well from last week. You're going to make two text-to-text -text connections with those two stories. You're going to choose two different parts where the books were connected, just like I did with Cinderella and Cinderella. You're going to review your responses and share it with your teacher. And remember to turn it in. Then you're going to do a second one. You're going to watch the read alouds Leon and Bob 
and Jessica. You're going to finish the second Making Text-to-Text -text Connections worksheet, share it with your teacher, and turn it in. Both sheets are due by Friday. They're going to be sent to you electronically, so make sure you type them into the text boxes, share with your teacher, click View Assignment, and turn it in. This is what they're going to look like. They will be two separate assignments. They will not come together, but I wanted to show you what they were going to look like. One is Wemberly Worried, making a text-to-text -text connection to Chester's Way. The other is going to be connecting the texts Leon and Bob and Jessica. Good luck, boys and girls.